Folks, what's going on? Armin Hammer here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a training montage from one of my favorite movies of all time, Rocky IV. Now, part of this is inspired by a conversation that we had on Scale is Needed earlier this week, talking to the guys about the various types of training that was involved in movies, and Rocky IV came up, and the montage from Rocky IV is by far the best training montage, I think, in any movie Ever. So with that in mind, as a guy who both really loves movies and training, I feel like it's a match made in heaven, folks. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Okay, okay, hold on a second. Let's set this up real quick, because if you haven't seen Rocky IV, this might, might, might not make any sense. But if you haven't seen Rocky IV, you should probably go watch it right now. Quick little catch up though. Uh, Rocky Balboa is in Siberia training for a boxing match, an exhibition bo boxing match against the Soviet Union's super soldier Ivan Drago. Now, the bad blood between them isn't just professional because Ivan Drago, in the last exhibition that he had against an American fighter, was fighting against none other than Apollo Creed, who he murdered in the ring both figuratively and literally beat him to death in the boxing ring. So this is clearly a personal issue for Rocky. And Rocky has sacrificed everything in his life for this one opportunity to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Ivan Drago and maybe, just maybe, exact some revenge and also prove himself one last time. All right, back to the video. A couple of things that Rocky montages get 100% right 100% of the time is the music and the inclusion of going from like being kind of good at things to being ridiculously good at things. And that is going to play out multiple times in this montage because not only are we going to be seeing Rocky training in this montage, we're also going to see Ivan Drago training in this montage. So we get like both of them improving really good music, 80s style music throughout the entire thing. And this like head to head battle of different training methods. You'll see what I'm talking about. That shit's so futuristic. <laughs> So we already see a really big difference between Rocky and Ivan Drago. Rocky's training in snow, in the elements. He's running through frozen streams. He's helping people with their toppled wagons in the middle of Siberia. And on the other hand, Ivan Drago is in this like super futuristic, this is what training centers are going to look like in the future, the year 2000 with flashing lights and weird readouts and just wild machines that, that no one other than the Versa Climber, no one still uses to this day. Can we talk about the lighting for a second here? Uh, you know, we work out. We've worked out once or twice. You know, between the two of us, we've probably worked out once or twice. Have you ever actually wanted to work out in an environment that's like super dark and only lit by red lights that are just flashing directly at eye level with not to mention a dozen doctors in lab coats just looking at boards? Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's gotten it. Good. Good job. Da. He used wheel thing. Okay. Very good. And he's running. Okay. Very good, Ivan. Very good. Come <laughs> on. 
I'm sorry. Is that a 430 pound clean? <laughs> I kind of also wish I was there for the uh, the ADR, the audio recordings for for these sound effects. Is just just Sylvester Stallone and Dolph Lundgren in the studio somewhere. It's very quiet. They have soundproof around them. Through the glass, they see the engineer, and the engineer's like, "You're good to go. You're good to go." Okay. A couple things, by the way, uh, this whole like log on the back thing, it's it, a lot of this is not just the cool, we're doing a training montage thing. And it's not just we have to compare the crazy futuristic Blade Runner-esque training methods of Ivan Drago to, you know, this like backwoods in the middle of nowhere using logs and wagons training method of Rocky Balboa. But it's also a callback to previous Rocky movies uh, in which, for example, I believe it was Rocky 2 that in order to train for his rematch against Apollo Creed, this is one of the things that Rocky Balboa did. He grabbed a log on his back and he did a bunch of like duck walks and stuff like that. So there's layers, man. This is art. That's called visual poetry. <sighs> Not only is he training in a, an environment that's just dark around him and, and red lights eye, at eye level, shooting lasers in his eyes, I guess, but he's also... When Ivan Drago is running, he's running laps in the dark with a spotlight. So in this scenario, not only are there like the coaches and like the coaches assistants and then the doctors, there's also someone whose job it is to just aim the spotlight at him as he runs by. You may think that just because one song is over, this montage is done. That's it's finished. So there's nothing left. You'd be very wrong because the reason why this montage is not just the greatest sports montage of all time, but the gap between this and second place is miles, is that this is technically two montages in one. So first, a couple things to notice. Rocky's no longer alone. Rocky now has his team with him, which is really important because he 
came to terms with what he's trying to do and was able to convince his family that it's the right thing to do. And so his team is now, you know, a okay, 100% behind him, which really just takes his training to the next level. His training beard was already great and his training methods were already unorthodox, but apparently effective. And now, now, I mean, he's got, he's got people, he's got people to help him out. Like, you know, someone to put the log down for him, for him to chop really aggressively. Oh yeah, the dragon flag. That shit's actually really hard. I, to be fair, even if everything they're doing is like staged or fake in some way, shape, or form, all of this is really hard. You can't fake running through the snow like that, even for 200 feet. It, it's going to be a pain in the dick. And this, this is definitely not easy. Like this takes a lot of core and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, lower back trunk stability, a lot of ab strength, lat strength. You know, to be fair, I would have liked to see, you know, maybe a little bit more uh, straightness in his legs. I don't really want to see that bend in the knee, but uh, that's nitpicking. That's nitpicking. Rocky, Rocky's got it. Rocky's got it. No pain. No pain. No I'm sorry, is that is that 2,045 pounds of pressure on his punch? He's punching with a ton of pressure? Damn. Oh, no. Not only is Rocky training in unorthodox and not super technologically advanced ways, but Ivan Drago's also taking steroids? Yeah, I saw that coming a mile away. He's really playing this one up. It, it would not be very hard to press that because none of the weight is is where you're pressing. All of the weight is right over the fulcrum, which is why a wagon works the way it does. That is fucking crazy, though. Rubber plates, strict pressing. One, two, three, four. That looks like uh, four set. This four oh five at least, and maybe those are twenty. So like four hundred fifty five pounds strict press. Oh, and it, uh, oh, he struggled with it. And the fact that Rocky yells out "Drago" after after that press. That's 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 like uh, I think we could all learn something from this. I think we could all take something away from this because that's that is very very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> he has wait so wait so we have to go back we have to go back because he has he has a whole he has a whole group of people watching him like two and a half feet in front of him. So there's uh, 25 people standing within arm's reach of this guy who has one, two, three, four, 455 pounds strict press overhead wearing nothing but like sock thin elbow sleeves as some sort of protective equipment. I love this movie so damn much. I can't recommend ghost riding metal plates though. Let's let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves. Just because you're Ivan Drago doesn't mean you can drop 455 pounds of metal plates overhead. <sighs> Respect the equipment, Ivan. Come on.
Uh-oh. What's he going to do? Outrun that car? No. Even better. He's going to go somewhere where technology cannot. What are those machines that are hooked up to him for that? What are they supposed to do? Wow. Rocky literally climbed a mountain just to get away from that car. I mean, they know where he lives. So he's not he's not really spending a lot of time away from them. They can literally just meet him right right back at the bottom where his house is. As you can tell, this is the greatest training montage of all time, period. It ends, it's, stru- it's structured perfectly. It like ends with like a long metaphor of technology versus like natural and organic training environments and how, you know, the natural and environment is going to take you further. He literally goes somewhere where technology cannot, like to the top of a mountain dodging cars leaving cars behind whereas ivan drago just stays inside of his weirdly red lighted like training dungeon with 40 people always standing around like watching exercise like honestly by the way if you're a coach or a trainer or you've ever been in a class with a coach or a trainer you know that even if you have like a dozen people in your in your class or 25 people in your class usually your coach and trainer Probably the one person, maybe two people can handle everybody in that room. No problems. No problems. In fact, I would say like even in like college or professional training rooms, it's like a handful of coaches and the entire team or segments of the team working. You're never, ever getting 25 to 1 ratio of trainers and support staff and doctors to one athlete. That's just that's too much to ask for. That's too much. Having all those people in the room at the same time, what are they all even doing? They have like one person whose job it is to like pull out the steroids. They have another person whose job it is to administer the steroids. They have one doctor whose job it is to just look at charts. They have another guy whose job it is just like press the up and down buttons on the treadmill. There's one person, maybe it's like a dozen or 20 of those people are just people for Ivan Drago to just break with those, those one ton punches that he's got. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't think that's a really efficient way of training, guys. I'm not sure that's it. So there it is. That is the greatest training montage of all time. It's really just two training montage kasplooshed together into one mega montage, and it is 100% worth checking it out. If you haven't seen it, watch the montage. If you haven't seen the movie, watch the movie. The movie's fantastic. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, Rocky single-handedly brings down the Soviet Union. It's it's wonderful. It is just a heartwarming film for all people americans and soviets alike either way if you can think of some movies that you want me to do a reaction video to these training montages they're everywhere and they are mostly very entertaining to watch so if you have some suggestions just comment it below if you like the video you know like the video actually or share it or subscribe to the channel goes a long way really appreciate it i'll see you guys very soon